sixth graders at home. It's me, Renee, at Foothill Horizons, and we're going to start this video with a riddle. I am the most powerful force on earth, yet I am gentle enough to hold in your hand. I am powerful enough to move mountains. I am in you and all around you. What am I? Pause this video at home and think about what you think this could be. To answer the riddle, here's a hint. Wait, 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 Margaret. Are you trying to tell me that water can move mountains and is the most powerful force on Earth? We're about to go explore how water can move mountains. Is it that water could have changed a landscape like this and moved a mountain like this? Like water has created this space for us to crawl through. To answer this question, let's look at a drawing of Foothill Horizons thousands of years ago. Here it is. Thousands of years ago, Foothill Horizons was just a bunch of dirt. And it was raining back then. And what happens when it rains? Dirt gets washed away. So let's see, let's do a little modeling of what would happen when dirt gets washed away from a place. Rain starts to wash the dirt away and it trickles downstream. Maybe a river starts to form in the lowest areas, just like this. Over hundreds and hundreds of years, it keeps raining and it keeps raining. And as the rain washes more and more of that dirt away, we start to see what's underneath rocks, just like the rocks that are all around us right now. Hundreds more years passed, hundreds more years passed, the river gets stronger and stronger, and now we can see this whole entire boulder. And then in fact, in 2020, my friend Margaret shows up and walks through the boulder like you just saw. And then for the next 1,000 years, and actually more than 1,000 years, for the next eternity. It keeps happening, it keeps happening, it keeps happening. The more dirt gets washed away, the more rocks we can see. And there's a word for that. When stuff gets washed away or when stuff gets moved away from a landscape, we call it erosion. Erosion is when materials from the earth get moved. So rocks, dirt, sand, anything like that. Whenever they move, it's erosion. This is erosion. And these caves are here because of erosion. Right now, I want us to look around about what do we notice is happening here in the Boulder Caves. Thousands of years ago, this area would have been filled with soil and we couldn't even stand inside of here. What is something that we can see here in this area that normally we can't see? Right here, I hope that you all are noticing that we are looking at the roots of a tree. We know that normally roots are underneath the ground because that is where they're getting their nutrients and they're getting their water. But here we see that all the roots are exposed and they're not in soil. What do you think caused this for us to see the roots? If we look right here, we can see that there is water flowing down this rock. And what do we call it when water moves soil away or when water moves rocks away or sand away? That is called erosion. So right here with these tree roots, we are seeing another example of erosion. So where do you see water in your daily life at home? 
Maybe when it rains, you notice stuff in the driveway, in the puddles, on the sidewalks. Water shows up all over the place in our lives. And anywhere that you see water, the landscape guaranteed has been changed by that water. It's really slow sometimes. It's really fast sometimes, like in floods. But guaranteed, water is changing the landscape around you. Here we are. My question for you is, how has water changed this landscape here? Next time you go outside, make sure that you're looking for evidence of erosion and water where you live.